I want to focus on uh, some car accident, accident statistics today, and, and let's look at what role speeding plays in not only causing the injuries, but also fatalities. An early statistic from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration show that in 2014, 32,675 people died in car wrecks. More than 5.6 million police reported car accidents occurred in the U.S. in 2013. 28 percent of those crashes resulted in an injury and less than thankfully less than one percent resulted in a death but nearly 10,000 deaths 29 percent of all car accidents in 2013 occurred in speed related accidents high speeds make a car accident more likely because it takes a longer distance to stop your vehicle or to slow it down. They also make collisions more deadly because crash energy increases exponentially as your speed goes up. And according to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, research shows that raising the speed limit leads to more deaths. Research, uh, research shows that when speed limits are raised, speeds go up as do the number of fatal crashes. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administra uh, Administration considers a crash to be speeding related if the driver was charged with a speeding offense or if law enforcement indicates racing, driving too fast for conditions, or exceeding the speed limit was a contributing factor in the crash. Now, speeding is one of the most common factors contributing to car accidents and according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, at a tremendous cost. 40.4 billion dollars to be exact. And let's take a look at vehicles involved in crashes by speed limits in 2013. For uh, fatal car accidents, the two speeds with the deadliest results were 55 miles per hour with 12,281 fatal accidents and 60 miles per hour or higher with 9,564 fatal accidents. For injury car accidents, 35 to 40 miles per hour had 816,000 car accidents. 45 to 50 miles per hour had 569,000 car accidents. And, and get this, 55 miles per hour had 353,000 car accidents. 60 miles per hour and higher, 294,000 car accidents. Interesting enough, speeding was affected by location, rural versus urban environments. In a rural environment, 9,470 car accidents occurred at 55 miles per hour, and 6,015 at 60 miles per hour or higher. Now, age is also a factor in who is more likely to speed. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, for drivers in fatal crashes, young males are the most likely ones to be involved in speeding wrecks. In 2012, 24% of female drivers in the 15 to 20 year age group and 19% of female drivers in the 21 to 24 age group were involved in fatal crashes because of speeding. Now here are a few steps to take to prevent speeding. Driving is a thinking task and you have a lot to think about when you're behind the wheel. Stay focused on your driving environment, okay? Stay alert. Being alert and aware of your surroundings certainly helps you to react quickly to potential problems ahead, okay? And, and please, know who's around you. This is defensive driving. Part of being alert is staying in control and being aware of other drivers around you. All right, folks, if you're involved in a wreck, do not try and take on the insurance company and their lawyers by yourself. Speed kills. Speed is a tremendous factor in causing these wrecks. You need a lawyer to step in to help you. Give us a call, 1-800-WIN-WIN-1 or 770-934-8000. And we'll be back.